Hey everyone, it's Cosmo. So I have found one of the most unique iPhone accessories I've ever heard of. It's a product called Spatial Glass from a company called Motto. And unlike other accessories like battery packs or screen protectors, this one is pretty dang cool. It transforms your iPhone into a full-on 3D display for viewing spatial photos and videos from your iPhone directly. So it's a bit like having a 3DS or even a looking glass, but it's your iPhone. So essentially it is a screen protector that stays on your phone that uh, under normal use, you don't really notice anything. But when you open up the Spatial Glass iOS app, it transforms your 2D photos into a 3D viewing experience. A bit like having a, a portal or a window into your iPhone. So this is their website. You can go to spatial-glass.com to check it out. And here is their Spatial Glass iOS app. You can learn more about it. And here they're talking about their prismatic optics. So this is kind of interesting. The way that it works is it uh, diffracts the light coming off of the iPhone into uh, your left and right eye differently, such that uh, when it converges together in your brain, <laughs> uh, it creates the illusion of having a 3D display. And it works quite well. And I'm going to do my best to convey what it's like to use the product. Uh, even though it is a 3D experience, of course, you have to physically see it for yourself with your own eyes. Um, and I know that you're watching it, of course, just on YouTube or online. It can be a bit challenging. But regardless, it is a very cool experience. And I want to give you my thoughts on what it's really great at and what uh, some of uh, my feedback on terms of how it can be improved. For full disclosure, uh, Motto was a sponsor of the Vision Hack, the Vision OS Hackathon that we did almost a year ago. And uh, this is a sponsored review. So thank you, Motto, for sending me a, a unit to take a look at. So cool. Let's get into it. First off, here is the uh, package. It comes in this little box here. And the first thing that you're going to need to do to get started is, uh, of course, install the screen protector directly onto uh, the phone. It comes with a um, little cloth thingy and then also this like uh, this guide that helps you install. So overall, the, the, the process of installing the spatial glass is pretty simple. Uh, the thing that is kind of unique and interesting about this is it comes with this um, 3D cell phone screen protector calibration box. So essentially it's just this like cardboard box thing. And on the, 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 the ceiling of it, the, the surface is a mirror. And so essentially you open up the app and you uh, enter calibration and it plays these different patterns which reflect off of the mirror in this box. And then it uses the cameras on the iPhone, I guess, to somehow adjust the settings such that the 3D image works correctly. So overall, the calibration takes just a couple minutes. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And then you get into uh, the app itself. So I'm going to walk you through uh, the interface for the Spatial Glass iOS app. Let's take a look. All right. So here's the Spatial Glass iOS app. You can see the top is a carousel of different presets and templates that they have provided. And then underneath that are my own photo albums that are sorted by uh, spatial and videos and portraits and, and other things like that. So if I open up the top here, just as an example, let's go to travel. Now I did not take these myself. These are some examples that uh, come with the app and I can just tap this to open and then now it does look a bit 3D um, like this, but I definitely prefer uh, rotating it. And you know, some photos and videos look better than others. Like this one kind of makes me cross-eyed to be honest, um, but I can just swipe to keep looking, uh, <laughs> look at someone's dog and trees. And you know, I'll say this once throughout the whole review, um, it does look 3D to me, of course, to you, it just looks like a flat image, <laughs> but it does look like, you know, the tree is slightly popping out a little bit from the background and, and, and it's, it's pretty neat. So one quick disclaimer, I was just reviewing the footage of the iOS app and I want to make it clear that the way that it comes across in the screen recording software does not look like that in real life uh, to my eyes. For whatever reason, it has this weird green muddy tint and it just does not look like that. Now, it does look a little bit dimmer uh, on the iOS app in real life, but it does not look that weird. So I'm going to come back over here and go back home. And then I'd like to open up my own spatial album. So I'm going to tap this. And th these are uh, photos and videos that actually were shot in spatial 
with the spatial settings from my iPhone. So I'm going to tap this. I just took this photo uh, on my desk here, and it's pretty cool. So the, I think one of the challenges with this uh, experience overall is it tends to make me cross-eyed sometimes. So what I can do is I can just come over here and uh, tap the depth slider. And I found that if I just go like this, I can adjust the depth. And I'm not sure what's going to look like for you, but for me, I see the images kind of moving into place in a way where it's just way, way more comfortable. Like if I come right about here, 6.2, the figure is really popping out of the screen or rather separating itself from the background, which is really cool. Um, there's a couple other settings that I can do. Of course, I can delete it. Um, there's eye tracking, which is really neat. So if I um, turn that off um, and I move my head, it the image kind of shifts around and definitely like the 3D effect uh, breaks. But with eye tracking, Ulan, which it is by default, it's pretty clever. So if I slightly like move my head or I move the phone, it adjusts the image such that it still remains um, decently 3D. So I really appreciate that. Um, it essentially widens the sweet spot of the 3D effect. And uh, I'm going to come back over here. Uh, there's some other options like outdoor mode, and it just makes it brighter. I do notice that the color changes a little bit, which is a little bit odd. But this is one of the things that's a little bit confusing to me is... Uh, by default, it is set, set to like not outdoor mode and the image appeal, appears a bit dark. I definitely prefer the brighter effect with the outdoor mode on, uh, which just looks better. So I can also come full screen by tapping this button here. And on my iPhone, it totally fills the phone, which looks quite cool. And I really appreciate that full screen option. I can also airplay it, which I don't have uh, any reason to do that right now. Um, and then I can also control the depth. There's some depth presets here uh, with these dots on the left. Great. So now I'm going to just review some other photos and videos just to give you. So that's my, my room, my bed. Um, that's me. This is a selfie. So again, so by default, this depth of one doesn't look right to me. So I'm going to come here and adjust it to about, yeah, like right there. Now that looks good. And now I see myself separated from the background. It looks pretty cool. I would like to show you some videos. Let's see uh, if I have any videos. Okay, I only have photos selected. So I'm going to come here and come to videos. Tap done. And then let's, uh, let's come over. Let's watch this. Oh, Bob, sir. Oh, I'm so busy. Hi. Someone was um, this is a cool parrot, so I'm going to come here and adjust the depth like that. Okay, that looks cool. And it, it is very neat. It, it does look 3D. <laughs> so I'm back to the home screen of this app. I want to show you a couple other things. It does have a spatial camera built in, so I'm going to tap this photo and... <laughs> Hello. Um, let's uh, go like this and take a photo. And then I can just view it like this in 3D. Pretty neat. Okay, so one last thing I want to share with you is its ability to convert 2D photos and videos into a 3D experience. So I'm going to come over here and tap a photo, and then there's this little sparkle icon. If I tap that, it makes it 3D. Now, it's quite fast. Uh, if I rotate it, I can see it a little bit more, and maybe if I uh, adjust the depth effect like this, maybe it looks a little bit better. Pretty cool. Now, it's definitely not nearly as good as a photo that was shot properly with spatial effects, but it does a decent job of creating a, a 3D effect from a 2D photo. Okay, so that's the Spatial Glass iOS app. I don't think it's available on Android, but now I want to wrap up with some of my uh, closing thoughts on what I like about Spatial Glass and what is not so great. So what I love about it is the fact that it works is pretty dang cool. Uh, the ability to transform your phone into a 3D display. That's something that I think we've talked and dreamed about for many years, but now it's actually a reality. Now, granted, it is an accessory. It's not literally built into the phone. Perhaps Apple will someday build this into their phone, but for now we have a special glass. And the installation is quite seamless. And the uh, mobile app is pretty good. 
It generally displays the photos and videos pretty well. Um, some of the downsides is when you're not using the Spatial Glass iOS app, you do still notice a little bit of uh, distortion or slight pixelation on the normal iPhone viewing experience. Now, it is subtle. It's not something that you're going to be particularly bothered by. I've been using it for many months and it's not a huge deal, but as you know, someone that does design apps for a living, it can be a little bit annoying, but that's just something to be aware of that it's not going to be perfectly crystal clear when you're not uh, using the Spatial Glass iOS app, but it's also not a huge deal either way. So that's one downside. I do think that the mobile app could use a little bit more polish. I could tell that it's definitely not like a native iOS app. I think it was probably built in Unity. Uh, so some of the interface elements are not standard and it's, yeah, not the prettiest app, but it is functional and does the trick. And then one other thing that I didn't show you was that uh, sometimes I was having trouble uh, getting the proper rotation on the videos. Um, they sometimes appeared like upside down, like 180 degrees, and there's no option within the app itself to rotate that. Um, the... Spatial Glass costs $99. You can get it at spatial-glass.com. And it's a product that I would recommend for people that really love spatial media and probably have uh, one of the latest iPhones that is capable of shooting this, as well as probably also have uh, the Apple Vision Pro. Now, of course, viewing spatial media within the Apple Vision Pro is a wonderful experience, but it is very expensive and heavy and is something that you know you're generally not going to be able to uh, bring out and about. So the benefit of the spatial glass is you get some of the same spatial uh, effects as the Vision Pro, but now just on your phone and it's in your pocket and you can take it with you and show your friends and um, show off that cool spatial photo or video uh, whenever you want. So for that person that just is totally obsessed and loves spatial media, Spatial Glass is an awesome product for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as a final thought, if you haven't already subscribed to the latest Vibe Coding podcast that just came out, definitely check that out at vibe-coding.fm. I'll see you soon.